All right, now continuing here. Remember I said fractions are easy, so we'll approach this as it's something easy. The next topic is multiplying fractions by a whole number. Now, uh, you can see that it doesn't look too difficult, but you might not know what to do because this is new to you, or you need a refresher, and that's okay. So what I've done is I've picked a fraction and a whole number, but uh, I picked a fraction that we can kind of think of with stuff we know, a quarter, like change in your, your, your pocket here, okay? So this says one quarter times five. And really, you, you can say, okay, that's easy. I'd have a dollar twenty-five in my pocket because five of those is a buck twenty-five. So we know that somehow the answer is going to be one point two five, or five quarters, where four quarters is one dollar. Okay, okay, one point two five. We know we know it's going to be that just because we know our money. But how do we deal with this? What do we do? Well, the very first thing that you need to remember is that any number in the whole universe that is just written like this or even this can be written with a further denominator of 1. If you went on your calculator and said 5 divided by 1, you would end up with just 5. But we're smart, efficient, lazy math people, so we will just, instead of writing this, we'll just write 5. Okay? Similarly, you could really do this, 1 quarter divided by 1. Put this on your calculator, 0.25. It's the same thing as a quarter, 0.25 divided by 1. And what you get is this as an answer. It's the same thing. So dividing by 1 is something we need to think of because we're going to show how to uh, apply that to this question here. OK. So this is what I remember having trouble with when I was younger. OK, you have something like this. Okay, this is clearly the numerator, it's on top, right? Here's the line. This is the denominator, but what's this? It's written in the top and the bottom. Like, how do we, what's the story here? But now that we know that 5 is the same as 5 over 1, we can replace this 5 with this value here. It's the same value, but we're going to replace it so that we're able to calculate it properly. So instead of a 5 in the middle, which we don't want, I will put this. 5 over 1. Now it's nice and easy. We have a top and we have a bottom. Okay, so that's the basics of how to set up multiplying by a whole number. Now we know that it's going to be 1.25, so let's, let's just think about this. How can we, th this number here is 5 over 4. It's 5 quarters where 4 quarters is $1. And what we're doing here, and I'll explain later in the, ne in the next video how to multiply fractions together. But what we do in, to get this is we go numerator times numerator. This is the easiest thing in the universe for fractions, is the multiplication. It might sound hard at first, but it's easy. Denominator times denominator. We already know this. And so what we really have is 1 times 5 over 4 times 1. Ta-da! And that's how we get, well, 1 times 1 when they're brackets like this, that means they're multiplied together, just back pocket info. What that means is a 5 in the numerator, and then the denominator carries across, and that's a 4. So just like we knew from the beginning, it's going to be 5 over 4. But in order to figure it out, we had to get this, we had this, uh, this number here. This didn't appear to be neither uh, denominator or numerator, so we had to say, let's write it the way it should be written, okay? And on your paper, like in your notebook, you'll have lines, right? I want you to get in the habit of always keeping your numerator on one line and denominator on the other line. And keep a line in the middle so that you can always keep track of what's what, okay? Anyway, so that's multiplying a fraction by a whole number. Very simple. If you have a question or you want me to re-explain it, just give me an email and I'll probably recreate the video for you. Just for you. Next one coming up. Be sure to watch.